Lancaster is a small town with big city ambitions, is how I would put it. I think Lancaster's still got kind of the old town feel of everybody knows everybody and everybody gets along. There's a good community in this area. It's larger than just a small little town on a country drive, but it still has that small feeling. Well, I've been here my whole life. My claim to fame here is my next door neighbor walked on the moon. I'm a sculptor and owner of Bob Doster's Backstreet Studio. My father had a sculpture studio uh, for a while, and he let me play with a blowtorch when I was eight years old. The first piece I ever sold, I sold it to a bank president here in Lancaster when I was probably about 12 years old. It was copyrighted in 1961. It's two ducks. I got $5 for them. If you think of an oak tree, each limb being a, a series, I may work on one 10 years ago a series, and then I may come back to it, and then that limb will get bigger, and as I go up, the more limbs come on the tree. And at my age now, I've got a pretty full tree. You know, my work is generally, it'd be some sort of abstraction, although we do do some realistic stuff too. I'll see a piece of scrap laying somewhere and that'll inspire me to do a uh, you know, 20-foot sculpture. And, you know, if I'm working with the school kids now, what we do is we go into the schools and we'll do hand sculptures and we traced all the children's hands on a piece of uh, stainless and then they, with hand over hand, me helping them, they cut it out with a plasma cutter so they get to experience actually cutting the steel. Of course, you're young and you're full of optimism, you know, like I was and still am. You know, you can go literally to the moon and everything in between. I worked uptown on Main Street at a clothing store when the whole Main Street just bustled. And then I've seen it, you know, basically the downtown collapse and then now it's, it's coming back, uh, which is a good thing. The Native American Center, I think, is a good catalyst for that. The Native American Studies Center is a 15,000 square foot facility in the heart of historic downtown Lancaster. We're part of the university. We offer classes. We have about 10 different classes a semester that are taught here. We teach other classes on main campus, which is a mile and a half away. We're open from Tuesday through Saturday, free of charge, and galleries rotate on about a six or 12 month rotation. Our main emphasis here is on Catawba pottery. The Catawbas have been practicing a folk tradition of pottery for almost 5,000 years. And our collection is the largest in the world. It's about 1,200 pieces and it's largely from about 1970 forward. We do have some late 1800s pieces in the collection. We also have baskets, we have jewelry, we have feather art, we have a large collection of both uh, clay and stone pipes. In the archeological collections, we have about 50,000 artifacts from Lancaster, Kershaw County, the local area, that date from the last ice age about 11,000 years ago on up to European contact. Our goal is to collect as much possible from the documentary record. We know that Native Americans have been in this area since the last ice age, so maybe as much as 12, 13,000 years. And one of my projects has sort of been documenting this over time on up to the arrival of Europeans. And this area saw a number of European explorers and there's documentary evidence of those travels, and so we get a kind of a snapshot of what's going on here prior to European arrival. There's a lot of support in the local community for what we do. It's a very welcoming place. I think what makes Lancaster unique is all of the really neat stuff is behind closed doors. The 
this racetrack's been around for, I think it's 67 years or so. I think it's the longest consecutive running dirt track in the Carolinas. Been kind of a way of life for people around Lancaster. A lot of families have grown up here, but people in this area, this is what they do. Uh, racing is fun. It's, it's, it's something that everybody says you can't ever get out of your blood. Once you do it one time, you're hooked on it. You know, you just can't get away from it. We quit for a little bit, but you can't get away from it. This track is probably the biggest form of entertainment in Lancaster County, as far as attendance and stuff like that. It's a half mile high bank dirt track, racing every Saturday night from pretty much March through September. But it's a lot of the same families growing up here. Pretty much you know everybody up here. Everybody helps each other out. Sometimes the people that don't get along, they'll let each other borrow parts. So it's just a bunch of good people up here. You know, the town's pretty close knit too. All oh, the people are nice in Lancaster. There's a lot of, lot of stuff to do down here. We are a production brewery designated in South Carolina by the Department of Agriculture as the only agricultural destination brewery in the state. The brewery started as a hobby and it matured itself into a full-time opportunity. We're not downtown on a corner of a, of a major street corner, so we don't get the high traffic. We are a destination. You have to want to come out here. And so our customers are not just random people. They research this place. They want to come here. And we get a, a very diverse group of people from bikers to families. When people get here, they, they decompress and they start chilling out. And so it, it becomes more than a place to come have a beer. It becomes a whole experience. Fermentation is a very interesting process. It's basically four simple ingredients, water, barley, to malted products. It could be oatmeal or corn or whatever. Hops is what is bitters the beer and yeast. And basically we're making a sweet tea tincture, pulling the sugars out of the malts and we are feeding the yeast and the yeast eats the sugars and creates the alcohol. We don't make beer, yeast makes beer. So we give the ingredients and the recipe for the yeast to do their job, and there's no other way it could happen. The city of Lancaster, they've been very supportive of what we do here. My wife was from Indian Land. I bounced around from Charleston to Greenville, lived in Concord, North Carolina. I've basically seen all these cities grow and explode. And um, the growth is coming this way, and it's going to change this town a little bit, probably for the, the better, for um, all industries and businesses. But that small town feeling is still, is still here. This is our town, Lancaster, South Carolina. 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 We're proud of it. <laughs>